Lies, Raziel. Do not be deceived. Ah, my ancient benefactor. And I dared to hope we had parted ways forever. The silence was refreshing, but it lasted. No doubt you have a conveniently inexpressible reason for your presence here. Do not be insolent, Raziel. I am eternally present here and everywhere, now and always. I am the still center of the turning wheel, the hub of this world's destiny. But perhaps not so omnipotent as you'd have me believe. Your hold on me appears to be tenuous. I no longer seem to need you. Yet I'm guessing you still need me. This impudence is unworthy of you, Raziel. Do not forget that you have a task to fulfill here. You are indebted to me. Indebted? You would have me show gratitude for a gift I didn't ask to be bestowed. Do you forget that you forced me to inhabit this vile carcass? I restored you to yourself, Raziel. It was Cain who destroyed you. The very enemy you've just let slip through your grasp. Do not fail me, my servant. I serve no one. Not you, not Cain, and not your lackey Mobius. Mobius is my good servant. I have many. And if I tell Mobius that he's worshipping a giant squid, do you think his faith will falter? You have grown willful, Raziel. But beware. To embrace a serpent is to invite poison into your heart. Cain is a sinuous beast. He will seduce and deceive you. You pride yourself on your free will, yet you let that degenerate deter your resolve. I harbor no illusions about his integrity, nor anyone else's. In fact, I am beset by manipulation on all sides. I merely seek the truth. These are the fathomless truths, Raziel. The agony of birth and death and rebirth. This is the wheel of fate, the purifying cycle which sustains all life. Vampires are an abomination. A plague which leeches this land of its spiritual strength. They obstruct the flow of life and death. Their souls stagnate in their wretched corpses. But the wheel must turn. Death is inexorable and cannot be denied. Your destiny is irresistible, Raziel. You are my soul weaver, the scourge of the vampires, reaper of their apostate souls. Remain steadfast, end the vampire's parasitic curse, and restore Nazgoth. Cain's blood belongs on your hands. Cain indeed deserves to die for condemning me to this repugnant form, but if and when I kill him, it will be for me alone to decide. Cain destroyed you without a flicker of remorse. He tore the soul from your noble corpse, and after you had served him faithfully for a thousand years, he discarded you in the abyss on a jealous whim. Remember your rage, Raziel. Let it guide your hand.
I surfaced into a very different landscape. The daylight barely penetrated the dense canopy of this forest. Here I discovered an ancient ruin, unmistakably one of Mobius's time-streaming chambers, but long ago sealed and abandoned to the encroaching swamp. I didn't currently possess the means to break this seal, but I thought in time that I might. Thank you. 
So, my lurking observer was exposed. The creature vanished when he realized he was discovered. But I caught a glimpse of him, and his features were distinctive enough. This was the vampire Vorador, the monstrous assassin depicted in the stronghold. Strange that a creature brazen enough to assault the Circle single-handedly would avoid confronting me. Very well. If Vorador would not come to me, I would go to him. But first, I needed to find some means of reaching that terrace. There appeared to be a passage here, leading northward into the mountains. The opening, however, was obstructed and too high for me to reach. Perhaps later I would find the means to bypass these obstacles. Thank <laughs> you. 
My lurking friend was nowhere to be seen, but I found these ruins even more intriguing. I recognized these arcane symbols from the chamber beneath the pillars, and realized that this shrine too was sealed to all but the bearer of the reaver. Throughout this ancient shrine, murals depicted the winged race and the apocalyptic war against their mysterious and equally inhuman adversaries. These winged beings, it seemed, were not only the architects of the pillars, but of this enigmatic place as well. And just as in the pillars' chamber, this shrine was adorned throughout with imagery of the reaver depicted with the reverence of a holy icon.